Hey everyone, I'm Gene, back again for like maybe my 18th video. <laughs> Uh, and in today's instructional video, I'll be installing five ascot balances on a combination of two curtain rods. The products I'll be working with are the Reverie Semi Shear Snow Oil, which is a textured shear curtain that will provide partial privacy when installed as curtain panels. The curtain rod I'll be using is the Levelor 13282 28 inch to 48 inch double duty curtain rod. That's a lot to say, I promise you. Um, and you can see the two different projections of the curtain rod, allowing one to be installed over the other. The Reverie Snowboil curtains are manufactured by Lorraine Home Fashions and are available in eight colors. White, eggshell, taupe, chocolate, gold, blue, green, and burgundy. And come in 63 inch, 72 inch, and 84 inch curtain panels. A six yard scarf panel, and the Ascot Valance. I will be using three burgundy and two gold Ascot Valances as a layered window top treatment. The double curtain rod allows me to install one layer over the other since the inner rod has a two and a half inch projection from the wall and the outer rod has a three and a half inch projection out from the wall, allowing one rod placement over the other. I've ironed and threaded the Escot balances on the curtain rod, and now I'll get started. Now as usual, I'll find center of the window, and I know center based on my two balances. The seam here is center. I find dead center in the window, and I work out from there. I'm not going to go too crazy on the, the back layer until I put the front layer on, and then I'll find the symmetry between the three front balances and the two rear balances. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, one rod's going to be installed over the other because the outer rod has a three inch projection, three and a half inch projection out from the wall, and the inner rod has a two and a half inch projection, allowing one to be installed over the other. So, now that I have my five ascot balances hung on the rod, I'm just going to create some shape here. I like to install the ascot balances with the tassel out, out away from the window, not in towards the window. But that's certainly preference. You can do my way or the other way. I prefer the tassel to be closer seems to me it just gives it body and texture when it's installed this way. But you can install it the other way. Or you can put two back and three forward or three back and two forward. It's really personal preference. And if you have a longer window, you can continue this combination of uh, Ascot balances throughout the length of the window or the wall for that matter. Uh, you don't have to stop at five, you can go six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, infinity. Um, well, sometimes there's a little static electricity and the tassel wants to spread. All you got to do is take a little water, then uh, put it on it, and they'll, they'll, they'll be nice and straight like these are. So just about there. I'm not going to go too crazy because this is an instructional video just showing you what you can do in a couple minutes. And there you go. I think it looks pretty good. Five balances, Ascot balances on two rods. I'm done this on a combination of different types of windows, bay windows, straight windows, double windows, single windows, um, uh, transoms, so it uh, really sky's the limit. Well that does it for this instructional video. I hope it was helpful in showing you just how easy it is to install ascot balances on a double curtain rod to create a layered look. 
There's a balance you would like me to do a video on, or if you have a question about any of the products we offer at swagsgalore.com, please add a comment on YouTube or email me at customerservice at swagsgalore.com. Until next time, this is Gene saying goodbye and stay tuned for more exciting instructional window treatment videos. See ya!